money? Oh, the money! I almost forgot. What? What? What do you need money for again? I just want to buy a few things for my mom. Why would you want to buy things for your mother? Because she's my mother. I saw Nandi and Chief Martin Idusa in what looks like a secret meeting at a restaurant today. What? And from what I could deduce that, there was some conspiracy going on. Come to my knowledge that you now help up with the academy of this company. <laughs> Remember? Keep deceiving yourself and keep telling yourself that you are the victim. But I know that a part of you knows the truth. That is, if you still have a conscience. Bad months. I made you. Well, I'm not here to discuss this rubbish. Stay away from my. And if I don't, <laughs> then you will have made yourself a candidate of mass suicide. I will destroy you! Bad mouth, you can't do anything! You can't do anything! You will not have the privilege of another one.
Thank you very much, ma'am. You're welcome. One moment, please. I want you to do something for me. All right, madam. I want you to talk to Inandi. Usually, I do not forgive people who offend me, and I never forget. I don't understand now. Is everything okay? Your friend came into my office some hours ago and disrespected me. He badged in unannounced and said he will hit my face. Nandi did that. <laughs> I will let this one go. But the next time he repeats this nonsense, I will make sure that I put him in a place where no one will ever find him. And I don't care if he's married to my sister. I will deal ruthlessly with him. Uh, I'll, I'll get your message back to you. Make sure you get it. Baby, we've been through this more than enough. It's, 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 it's driving me crazy. Huh? What do you expect of me? Do you expect me to stop talking to Lala? Is that what you want? Why do we have to keep talking about the same girl over and over again? For goodness sake, Justine, your life is not an issue here. Let's, let's just try to leave her out of our, so our discussions. Hmm? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Honestly, Justine, I just need you to be honest with me. That's all. Honest with you? Yes. So what are you telling me here? Huh? Are you telling me I've been lying to you? No. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> Justin, do you know what? I just, I just think we should just forget about this, okay? Let's just drop it, all right? By the way, where are you taking me to? right? Sure I am. Okay. My name is Gloria. The same girl oh, that introduced to you yesterday. Oh! Please forgive me. I'm not just very good with faces. That's alright. Okay. Um, listen. I want to get to find a few things about your friend Justin. Excuse me. I don't understand. Don't you think if you want to know anything about Justin, you're supposed to be Asking him, <laughs> I don't like Justin. He's so sick. How is that my business? Because I was hoping you would take this message back to him. I don't have time for this. You're sleeping with Justin. Yes, you're sleeping with him. Huh? Are you gonna deny the fact that you're sleeping with him? Are you? I said you're sleeping with Justin. You slut. You're sleeping with him. Hmm? You are a prostitute. You are sitting with Justin, and let me just look at you, huh? I know Joko is extremely rude, but that doesn't, doesn't give you the right or the justification to do what you did. I mean, to me, you went too far. Steve, if not for Fumi, I would have done more than that. What would you have done? I would have done what I had in mind. What would you have done? Beating her up! How could you even think about that? How could you think of beating Joko, for God's sake? She deserves it. Yeah, I know. She does that to everybody, but who are you to judge on the side? Please. It's no news to us. 
she gets on our nerves, she's unnecessarily bossy, she's, she's just, she's impossible, that's it. I know, you're fine, but it's not for you to judge and decide on what to do. I mean, she's your boss in the office, what about respect? What do you see? Just hold on. We're actually in a public place. Can we leave this conversation for another time, please? Let's work, let's work. Look, I'm just afraid you might go into her office and hit her with left. Well, if you does it, what will I do? I don't know. I don't have any choice. Have to do it. Hey, hey, hey. How does this work? Where's the coach? Oh, ho, oh, oh. Two in the right, coach. We have a situation here. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? So here we are, sweetheart. Your Majesty. Did you say your royal majesty? Oh sure. <laughs> Come on. Okay then. Thank you very much for the clothes and the treat. I so much appreciate it. At, at your service, your royal highness. Oh pretty. <laughs> Alright then. See you in school tomorrow. Hey, hey, hey. That's not good enough. You wanna go without giving me a kiss? I've never met a guy so demanding as you are. <laughs> okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Yeah, hello, baby. What's up? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Where are you now? Um, all right, just give me five minutes. I'll be there. Okay, I'll be there to pick you up. That's sure, I'm coming. Yeah, love you too. I'm coming, yeah. Good morning. Oh, you're all early. What's up? There's nothing much at school today. He wasn't there to keep you company, right? When are you introducing her to me? I don't know. She even wants me to bring her home. Charles, is there anything bothering you? You don't look good to me. What's the problem? As in what? She wants me to introduce her to mom and dad. <laughs> Why? Is she pregnant? Are you out of your mind? Charles, you don't know what girls do now. Do you know? Maybe to trap you or something. When I brought you just like that. Mm. You know I better now. So, are you bringing her home to mom and dad? As your fiance? That is where the problem is, little cousin.
not to anyone. Fine, fine, fine. Can you fix them for me to eat? What do you have in the kitchen? Uh, the food ready now. Uh, Jello fries and fries. Fine, fine. Give me two plates. Two plates. Now. Okay, all right. Fine. Go, go, go. Come on, come on. I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you. If if I blow your mouth, if I blow the chest, I don't know what I said. I said, you're fine. Go, let me slap it. Slap it. What do you think? Let me slap my session. Are you mad? I think you just slap yourself. I said, snap P. S N A W P Y. That's the word. It means fast. Oh, my God. I don't know what level for you. That is supposed to be cold now. Eh? Supposed to arrange me for kind of thing where I can shock myself. Okay, it's for you. I'll give you Just go. Where go? You talk to us. Telling me how to run my life. Hola, you said you had something you want to tell me. Yes. Did you know that increase? That idiot son in love of yours, Sunandi, is plotting my downfall with my enemy, uh, Martin Sibuzo. How did you arrive at such conclusions? Because I didn't solve them together in a restaurant in what appeared like a secret meeting. Secret meeting? Mm. But how did you. Uh, get, get, get. Don't try to defend him on this one. Nand himself didn't even deny it when I confronted him with it. My dear, I know you're upset and you have every reason to be. But did you try to find out what they were talking about? What nonsense are you talking about? I knew that boy won't rest until he sees me six feet underground. I should have loved him up all these years. You can't achieve this by, by shouting. Sit him down and talk to him like a son. Please. Please. What is with this time, Nandi? Your father is making my life miserable. If he's not telling me how to run my matrimony, he, he's telling me whom to or whom not to relate it. Listen, Nandi, I am not finding this funny any longer. Each time you have a problem with my father at the office or my sister, you come home to listen for me. What is it? What? Oh, 
me? Do you promise? You promise to make me the happiest woman on earth. This is going to take care of me and the kids. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Look, it, it will never happen again. You deserve more than I'm offering, and I know it. I'll make it up to you, please. Childish, hmm? You don't have to worry about anything. I have, see, I have the whole situation under my control, right? You don't have to worry. Well, it's just that I just think it's going to be easy for her to convince Bertie to quit this crap you guys call a relationship at all. <laughs> Not when, when I'm going to play my cards so perfectly well. So let me tell you, I'm going to do it in a way that she won't get to see my flaws. Telling you, trust me on it. So you want to go through with this? Absolutely. So let me tell you this. I promise you that I'm going to have Betty lying on my bed. It's going to take me time, but it will happen. Trust me. Who's that? Crazy girl. <laughs> Are you alone? Eh? No. Why? Yes, she's not alone. Come for the cake tomorrow morning. Don't come here again. Did you hear that? Threatened you. Danny, do you think it's because of the contract? <laughs> Badmouth cannot believe that the contract actually went to me. <laughs> he gave one stupid excuse for coming over to the office, but uh, I know what his real intentions were, irrespective of that dumb excuse. Danny, do you think we should take it lightly? I mean, you just told me he threatened you. Oh, come on, don't worry about it. He was just bluffing. He cannot stand up to the fact that I beat him to it this time. Darling, <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you ask me, I think it's high time you and Chief Ola Badnos resolved your problems. My answer to that is no. I cannot make peace with him. No, 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 no. Even if I were forced to, I would not. No, I would not.
<laughs> Darling, you look fun to us. <laughs> you just hold on. You know I have to pretend you. Uh, come on, man does not live by bread alone. <laughs> My sister, Chokotade. So. Justin, open the door. Manu, Manu, come. Uh, hold on. Hmm. I'm, I'm coming, Bob. Hold on. Get into your room. I don't know. Probably because I forgot to close my windows before I went to school. So you won't see. But you get to see. You know that. It's okay. Alright. Um. Take this message to your brother Raymond tomorrow morning. Tell him Grandpa will be here to discuss something very important with him concerning him and his father. Okay, I will. Um, that should be um, on Saturday. Yes. It's coming on Saturday. Yes. All right. Tell me, I want you to come here. I will. All right, Mom. Good night. Are you okay, Yoko? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not okay, Mom. Hey, go and sleep. Mm. Mm. You're dead. Go on, fine. Come on. Good night. Oh, good night. Tell me truthfully what happened at the office between you and my dad that made you so angry. Let's just say I'd rather not talk about this, okay? Let's enjoy our meal. I know my father can be quite a handful, but you know, we the family we understand him so well. And we know that he's great as But please do. It's okay, dear. Let's just enjoy our dinner. Okay, no problem. And after this meal, it does look sumptuous. <laughs> and it will taste sumptuous too. <laughs> I'm really hungry, you know. Yeah. 
had a very long day. Tomorrow you don't find it. Consider your salary for the month forfeited. I beg not do like that now. Will you shut up? Eh, but I wash the clothes now. I can't put time for a I day. said shut up. I pay you to take care of my things and you can't. Listen, don't waste my time. Eh? If by this time tomorrow I still don't find that night dress, consider your salary for the month gone. Do I make myself clear? Yes, madam. Get out of my way. Eh, uh, madam. I'm going to rethink you are to enter the room now. And I'm sure you want to do the rethinking in my room. My family, get out of here. You put your... No, baby, I'm okay. It's just that you call with me. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love you too. Yeah. I love you too. <laughs> good night. Auntie, was that angry? Yes. He actually called just to say good night. Hmm. It's been long I saw you. Yeah, that's because he's a very busy man. You know he's a medical doctor, don't you? Of course. Auntie, don't take this the wrong way. But a friend of mine believes that medical doctors don't make good husbands. How old is this friend of yours? She's 18. 18 years? How can she possibly be expecting about that? I don't know. Maybe she had it from a friend or someone. Listen, in life, we don't always believe what people say. And as for Ray and I, we are going to make a wonderful future because we love each other. And we are prepared to make every sacrifice just to be together. Okay? Okay. So, are you getting married soon? Yes. How soon? <laughs> Lisa, you ask so many questions, please. No. That's because I'm curious. Besides, I want to see your face. Okay, okay. You did my breast meat, okay? Mm -hmm. Let me just go and sleep. Turn off the television. Mm -hmm. Good night. Go to bed, Abby, okay? So the moment you hear a knock on this door, give yourself like um, 15 or 20 seconds, okay. then you leave. All right? All right. Yeah, be cool. Good morning, Mom. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm fine. 
I can see you're very happy this morning. Oh, I am. I guess he slept well. I did. I did. What about you? Same. I... Mom, I was wondering if I can borrow your Bible. <laughs> you? Yeah. I want, you want to, Bible. to read the Bible? Sure. I feel I should be very close to God. See, I want to stop running after women, you know, chasing girls and messing around. I'm tired of that. I want to be close to God. So I need a Bible. What? Now, go to my room. Look to your left. No, 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 please, please, please. Don't go there. Please don't go there. Thou shalt not lead us into temptation. I don't want to be tempted. See, I don't want a situation where somebody will accuse me of stealing dad's money or something. Please, I don't want that. So I want you to get the Bible yourself. I don't want them to say I stole, stole some money. It's mm -hmm. all right. Let's go. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, and I'm with my son. Come in, come in and sit down. How are you? Sit down, sit down. Feel at home. Yeah, yeah, my son and I know we've had uh, problems before, and we've never really been able to sit down together and talk like father and son. Shall I? Uh, no, no, no. Let me finish. I have, as I said, we had our initial problems. But now you're married to my daughter. So that makes you a member of the family. And that's why I don't want you to go listening to and believing all those despicable things people say about me. You know, now, now as my son in law, my shame is now your shame. And my success also yours. I, I, I understand what you're saying, sir. Like you rightly said, we had our differences. Mm -hmm. But I've always loved you like a father. Yes, sir. Although the situation of things between us has not really made it possible for me to demonstrate that. Ah, all that is what I under the bridge. Let's put that behind us and move forward. Fernandi, that's exactly why I want you to stay away from him. <laughs> Yeah. 
it's okay sir i've heard you sir to be far away to, to study someone I need to understand. Don't you get that? No, no, listen. If you think this dating is going to lead to something else, forget it. Because I'm not about to lose my pride. All right? I'm not about to lose my pride. Not for anything, Gloria. I'm not that kind of girl. Trust me now. Okay, you're right about this. Hmm? But what happens when a girl or a lady starts accepting gifts from a guy? Is that she feels indebted to that guy? Oh, come on. Forget about being indebted to any guy. He insisted on buying me those things, and mind you, it doesn't change anything. When I say anything, I mean anything. It doesn't change anything. But see, I don't buy the idea of you getting close to Justin just because you want to understand him. The truth is that I thought you might make a silly mistake along the line. And that is why I'm taking it upon myself to expose this Justin guy. Expose Justin? And what exactly do you mean by that? I'm going to unmask Justin. Yes, I Because I want you to really know who he is. Sure. That's what we'll get to see, right? Oh, uh, she dropped a note for me with reception, but I should wait for her. Okay. 
You know, Sunday when I was reading the note. Oh, uh, yeah, we thought. Ah, uh, come on, Tony. There's no bug there. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, just, just relax, Tony. I don't know what's okay. Uncle, I don't understand what you're talking about. Uncle, stop this. Stop what? Tony, you know this already. I know what to do. Uncle, please. Uncle, please. Uncle, please. Uncle, please. Uncle, please. I said, well, you can see me. It was acting so funny, like, big boy stuff. I wish you were there, so you put him in this place. Cool. Some you know. people put them where they belong. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just too kind. <laughs> but I know you, man. You're rude. <laughs> Ola Body Badmuts. I mean, Chief Ola Body Badmuts called me son for the first time since I married his daughter. He what? He called me son. I think S O N, son. He called you son? Yes, and this must be a dream, you know. What did it happen? <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised. I'm astonished. I'm, I know, I know. Because I know you guys are like cats and dogs. And Can I ask you a question? The fire. For how long have you been having this um, misunderstanding with the chairman? Three, close to three years. Fumi and I will be celebrating our third wedding anniversary next week. So it's about three years now. And all of a sudden, out of the blues, he calls you son? Wow. I'm so happy for you. Yes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, um, what are you going to do now? Are you still planning to quit on the company? Uh, no. No? You're absolutely right. I'm glad you took this decision. <laughs> Great. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm so happy, man. Cool. Yeah, man. Sonia, why are you crying? What happened? My God. Answer me, I'm talking to you. Answer me. Sonia, come back here. Sonia. Sonia, come back here. What's the meaning of this young woman? Answer me, what's the meaning of this? I'm talking to you. Answer me. I think you want to know what the problem is, right?